Mm. Mm. Fucking B came off. Cheap ass head headpiece. A brown skin beauty production. For real, it's not. For real. Welcome back beauties! This is Halloween look number two and I'm so excited. Today's video is going to be Cleopatra and my face is already moisturized and I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're starting off with brows. Now if you want to see a full brow routine that's in depth, I have one on my channel. You can check that out. I'm just going to skip through this really quick because I don't want to waste that much time on my brows. It takes a good minute. So using my Tarte Shape Tape, I'm going to clean that up. And you know, we're gonna conceal these brows, girl. Coco is always interrupting me when I'm trying to record. Now, using that same concealer, I'm gonna use that as my base on my eyelids, and then I'm gonna set it with some Laura Mercier Medium Deep Translucent Powder. Going into my Morphe 35B palette, I'm going to take that blue shade and I should have used a transition color first, but I went in with the sky blue and you're going to just build it up to your intensity and also I'm going to use this dark blue to help cut my crease. And you got to make sure you guys blend, blend, blend just to make sure the look looks more seamless you know what I'm saying it just flows so I'm taking that darker blue in my crease and I'm gonna go back and back and forth between brushes just to make sure everything is blended well together and I'm just gonna build it to the intensity that I want it to be now using my same concealer I'm gonna cut out my crease and I'm looking up because I want my glitter to still show even with my eyes looking straight forward at you so when you look up it gives you a basically a mark on where to stop your concealer so I'm just gonna carve that out and be mindful take your time when you're doing this step my video is sped up and I cut a lot of video footage out but this takes time because you don't want to mess up or you don't want to you know have it spread somewhere else also, I will make sure I use something that's more of a gel-like, creamy consistency, not as loose, or I should say liquidy as this. Even though it wasn't bad, but, you know, just for someone who's a beginner, just to make it easier. So once I get the desired shape that I want, I'm going to let it dry for a little bit, and I make sure I do not look up, and I'm going to set that also with my translucent setter po setting powder. Going back over my crease, just to make sure anything that has been lost with cutting my crease, I put back. And I also kind of blend it into the end of that crease just so it's not just choppy. Now using my NYX glitter primer, I'm gonna prime that area that I carved out. And I use these glitters from Michael. It came in like a 12 pack I use like the goldish and the brown I just mix it together and I got a lid brush and I just packed it on now before you do your glitter you should honestly do your liner first but I forgot about it I haven't been doing glitter eye looks in a while so it is best to do your liner before because then the glitter the glitter makes the eyeliner kind of look clumpy and as you can see I'm using my wet and wild liquid eyeliner I absolutely love this stuff. I think they discontinue this, but something similar to this will be the NYX liner. You can find that, or NYC liner, I'm sorry. You can find that at your local beauty supply store. Now, 
For mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara just to have my something for my lashes to stick onto. And I'm going to use these lashes. I just think these lashes are so cute and flirty. Oh my gosh. Going back over that line just to make sure I conceal that band even more. Now using this primer, I just bought this. I wanted to see how it works on my face. My skin is kind of dry and the girl at Ulta said that, you know, it is a good primer. Now, here's the gag. I don't use this foundation and knowing damn well it is my winter foundation. I should not have done it. Look I'm at looking me. casket, casket sharp. sharp. Yes, girl, you are. So to fix that problem, I use a darker foundation just to go over it so that I look like the skin tone I should be. And when it's all said and done, everything is going to blend effortlessly and seamlessly. So it's no biggie. And you're going to see that I go in between using my beauty blender and my Real Techniques buffing brush just to make sure everything is just blended out the way I want it. I don't want you to be able to see where everything starts and stops. So using my Smashbox concealer, I'm going to highlight under my eyes, you know, the regular places. And a blend, blend, blend. As you can see, the blending does not stop. Your blending game has to be A1, especially if you're doing makeup because you don't want people to be like, girl, I can see where your concealer starts or I can see where your contour starts. Now, using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, I'm taking the darkest shade to contour that face because I want to be snatched, you know? Cleo just seemed like she just a snatched bitch, so we gonna be snatched too, bitch. Again, blend. Now I'm using the same contour color. I'm gonna contour my nose. Also, I'm setting my highlight with the same Laura Mercier. Now I'm using Black Radiance Medium to Dark Contour Kit, and I'm taking the contour shade to set all my contour. Then I'm gonna go in with Max Raisin, which is this shade right here and deepen my contour just so I look more sucked in.
and don't forget to blend all that out once you're finished. Also, I'm gonna set my nose contour. I think it's so cute how my brush matches my eyeshadow. <laughs> I told y'all I was not playing with this blending. Now, listen, if you want your nigga to be blind, use this highlight. This is the best. Now I'm gonna set my face with the primer water just to get some of that powdery look away. And then I'm gonna go in with Too Faced Lip Injection. I just wanted my lips a little bit more plump to me. I really don't think it did that much of a difference in this video, but it is what it is. Now, I couldn't find my cool eyeliner pencil, so this step will be easier if you do have one, and I suggest you do use one, but, and I couldn't find my gel black liner either, so I had to use my Anastasia Dip Brow in Granite to darken my waterline, and then I'm just going to flick that out as well, so that it's a two wing liner look. Going over that liner, I'm going to use the NYX Primal Colors in Black. This is the blackest eyeshadow I've ever worked with. And you need to be very careful with this step because I did get a little fallout. As you can see, me trying to wipe it out. And now I go on with the blue liner just to accentuate the liner. Going in with Morphe's 9N Blush. I use that shade to just give me a little rosiness. And now it's time to just blonde people. You know, this highlight pops severely. Now, watching this video playback, that piece of hair from that brush really irks me but shorty had a little 15 minute cameo so shout outs to you boo and i use kiko's 315 lip liner and max teddy bear for my lips and then just blend that out with my finger and i do not know the name of the lip gloss i use i got it in some like random thing as a gift but it's like a gold shimmery light kind of color you can use anything like that just to help give you know a glossy effect or you can leave the look matte and that's pretty much it for this oh wait hold up fantastic make him go blind girl and this is my snap if you guys want to follow me to see quick updates, you can. And I just showed you the two different wigs that I use with the headpiece. Whichever one you prefer. But I ended up liking the short one better. So, there you go, aunties. So, that's pretty much it. I'll check you guys in my next video. Bye.